Hello friends, if you are a Java developer, you must have known about the optional type which was added in Java 8 to introduce a functional way to handle nulls. In this video, we will talk about another type called either and see how it can be used along with optional for handling errors beautifully. If you are not a Java developer, this video is not for you and if you do not know about the optional type, you can first read about it, you will find numerous articles and videos on it in the internet. So let's jump in. Let's say that we have a bank where we have two entities, user and account, and a user can have zero or one account. We also have two repository interfaces to fetch the entities from the database. The user repository has a find by ID method that finds a user given an ID. And if there is no user with the given ID, it returns an empty optional. Similarly, the account repository has a find by user method, which given a user returns its account if it is there, and if no account is there for the user, it returns an empty optional. Now, get ready for a couple of assignments. Let's code a method that receives a user ID as its parameter, and then it goes and finds the user for the given ID if it is there, and then it further goes and finds the account if it is there for the user, and then it returns the account. If either no user is there for the given ID, or there is no account for the user, then it returns an empty optional. So, if you are just starting to use functional programming, you may code a solution like this. Here we get the optional user, and then if that is empty, we return an empty optional. Then we get the user out of the optional, and then return an optional account by using the find by user method of the account repository. Okay, that works, but in functional programming, experts will quickly tell you that this is not how optional is meant to be used. So, let's try another solution. Do you know about the map function of optional? It returns a new optional replacing the value of the original optional with some other value. And if the original optional is empty, it just returns an empty optional. So here we have a chance to provide the map method a function that will return an account given a user. But wait, our this function here does not return an account, it returns an optional account. Exactly for this use case, optional provides another method called flat map, which flattens the optional given to it. In other words, it will perfectly fit our account repository dot find by user method, which returns an optional and not just an account object. So this solution looks cool, right? Okay, now let's get to the exciting stuff. Let's take another assignment. When a user or account is not found, instead of returning an empty optional, how about indicating exactly what was not found? It was the user or the account? We could approach this issue in a few ways. Let's talk about those one by one. The first solution that may come to our mind is using exceptions. That is, you can define two exceptions, user not found exception and account not found exception, and then just throw those. And then you have this sweet and simple method, right? No. Throwing exceptions for anticipated cases like this one here is considered an empty pattern in general. You could find numerous articles about it in the internet. I will provide you some link in the description below. So let's avoid throwing exceptions for anticipated cases and let's go to other solutions. Another solution will be to use a custom result object as the return value of the method. For example, we could define a result marker interface and then let it be implemented by user not found account not found and success classes. Whereas user not found and account not found are just empty records, success could contain the found account object. We could then code the appropriate logic to return the result object depending on the availability of user and account. This does look like a clean solution. However, it looks like a lot of boilerplate code. And that brings us to another solution using either. So what is an either? Either is a type available in many functional programming languages or libraries, which is similar to optional, but whereas optional can have zero or one value for a particular type T, either will have exactly one value of either of two types, L and R. L stands for left and typically used for error values, whereas R stands for right and typically used for success or right kind of values. But Java has no built-in implementation of an either type, However, there are many libraries out there providing either implementations and I like the JBoc implementation because of its lightweight and simplicity. 
either would have similar functionality like optional that is it would have map and flat map methods for mapping the right value whereas map left and flat map left for mapping the left value it would also have utility methods like either dot right and either dot left for creating either with right value or left value now let's get back to our problem let's first define the error classes we can have an error interface and a couple of its implementations user not found and account not found and then we could code the method to return an either of error or account as a first step let's try to create an either object for the user that is if the user is found we wrap it in an either as the right value and if it is not found then we create an either with user not found as its left value so the code could look like this the find by id here will return an optional which we are mapping to either dot right and if the optional is empty we are creating an either with the left value in other words these two lines would convert an optional to an either and because we need this converting an optional to an either multiple times we can code an utility method for it so here goes the utility method it takes two parameters an optional and an error supplier if the optional has a value it wraps that into a right either and if it does not then it uses the error supplier to get the error object and wraps that into a left either and returns that now let's get back to our solution using that utility method that we just wrote our code now becomes like this now that we have the either object for the user we could then go ahead and map it to an account this lambda here is a function that takes the wrapped user and converts it to an either containing either the obtained account or an account not found error so this should work with a little tweak of course notice that this lambda here returns an either instead of an account so to get the nested account or the error out of it we need flat map here so the final solution looks like this looks cute doesn't it to summarize instead of the anti pattern of throwing exceptions for anticipated cases use either in your projects and let your friends know about this cute thingy you will find the complete source code of this tutorial at github i will provide a link in the description below and do not forget to like share and subscribe and see you soon